Hello, hi. In this video, um, I'm gonna go over an issue with an HP Omen laptop. This is basically the gaming version of HP. It's the high end with a nice graphic card, nice processor. I believe this one comes with GTX 965. Um, i7 16 gig of ram one terabyte um regular hard drive this should be an ssd anyway the issue here is this is a completely dead motherboard and um, the client basically said he wasn't able to turn it on um, i'm not sure what the story behind it but it is a dead motherboard at this point so i'll go over the steps as you can see I already opened the laptop so let's walk through what we can troubleshoot in this case when you have a dead motherboard what to look for and how to troubleshoot um, a dead circuit um, the first thing is of course visual inspection um, Try to check if there is any liquid spill, any burn, long components. Um, see if uh, uh, there is anything, you know, unusual on the board. This board looked clean to me. I already locked it. I don't see any issue. Um, so let's see what we can find. First of all, I want to make sure we have a good AC adapter and a good uh, DC jack. Oops, and, yeah, and, that, and as you can see, it's 19, 19.8, yep, 19.5, about right. So this is a good AC adapter and a good charging port. The second step, we want to measure the voltage when we plug the AC, the DC jacks and the reason we are doing this is because a lot of time those motherboard they are shorted and um, you can't get any voltage you know when you try to measure it while it's plugged in so nothing as you can see so it's completely dead and try to touch the board at that point and see if there is any part you know the motherboard is heating oops i think this area is a little bit warm oops yep 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 here so this area here is very warm i'm not sure which component but when it was plugged i feel it and it is very hot so how we know which component is bad at this point um, there are a few ways um, the first way is uh, we will we can use like a super cold spray and that basically will give us an idea we use that a lot in smaller components like you know phones where it's very hard sometimes to trace the 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 short or the bad component um, but yeah that or we can use also alcohol it just you know a 99 cents liquid that will save your life um, so let's try both methods um, i'll use the cold spray first let's spray it out and and as you can see it is very cold now so what I'll do, one, two, three. Oh, so that, so that. All right, let's try again. So let's try it here. One, two, three. Yep, I think is the MOSFET. I think is the MOSFET. Um, another way um, we can try just alcohol. Okay, and let's see. There you 
go. Just like a heartbeat. I still think it's the MOSFET. What I will do is I'm going to remove the MOSFET and Try the same thing. I know the board is still hot. It's not that cool. It's blood right now, and I'm gonna spray. And as you can see, nothing happening. So it looks like it was a bad MOSFET. So what we will do is we're gonna create just a quick jumper. Then I use the cold spray. Yeah, looks like it's still heating. See? Two, three. Oh. All right. Um, let's remove this one. Cold like an ice. Let's test it right now. And see how it's gonna work. Charger. And that's the on and off. And here you go. It's working. That's it.